I'm going to go into failover cluster manager and I'm going to convert my 12 gigabyte into a cluster shared volume. So I'll right click, I'll choose add to cluster shared volume. That's all you got to do and it'll convert it. And now it's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into file explorer and you're going to see this storage is now mounted on the C drive in a new folder and it's called cluster storage. So if I double click on that, there it is. There's my volume. You see it's 12 gigabytes, double click on it and there's nothing in it as of yet. However, now I'm going to switch over to the other server and we should see it in that exact same place as well. I'm on file server two again. We still see the H drive because I did not convert that one to be a cluster shared volume, but the G drive is now gone. So I'll open up my C drive, look at that. There's the cluster storage folder, just like it is on the other server. And once again, there's my 12 gigabyte volume. So just for fun, I'll just right click and create a new text document and we'll switch back to the other server and we should see it in the same place. And we're back on file server one and look at that. There's the new text document. So it shows up in both servers at the same time. So that's the difference between a cluster shared volume and just available storage, as you see here. For available storage, it shows up on one node at a time. and cluster volume, it shows up on all the different nodes at the same time. So that's how you add cluster shared volumes in a Windows 2019 server. And it also works in older versions as well. Take a look at this playlist for other videos about Windows clustering that could help you out.